Introduction Welcome to today's lecture on the biochemistry of vitamin K and its role in various physiological processes. Vitamin K is a fat-soluble nutrient that plays a crucial role in the post-translational modification of certain proteins involved in blood coagulation, bone metabolism, and vascular health. In this lecture, we will explore the biosynthesis of vitamin K-dependent proteins, the mechanisms of vitamin K reduction, the vitamin K-dependent carboxylase enzyme, and the impact of liver disease on vitamin K metabolism. We will also discuss the regulation of vitamin K metabolism, the extrahepatic actions of vitamin K, and the mechanisms of action and clinical implications of vitamin K antagonists. Furthermore, we will delve into the clinical manifestations and management of vitamin K deficiency, genetic disorders affecting vitamin K metabolism, the biochemical basis and advantages of direct oral anticoagulants, DOACs, and finally, conclude with a summary of key points. So let's dive into the intricate biochemistry of vitamin K. Vitamin K-dependent proteins, also known as gamma-carboxyglutamic acid, GLA, proteins, play essential roles in blood coagulation and bone metabolism. The biosynthesis of these proteins begins with the conversion of dietary vitamin K or vitamin K derived from intestinal bacterial synthesis into its active form, vitamin K hydroquinone. Once in its active form, vitamin K gets incorporated into the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, where it acts as a cofactor for the gamma carboxylation of specific glutamate residues within the GLA proteins. This gamma carboxylation process is catalyzed by the vitamin K-dependent carboxylase enzyme, which we will discuss in detail in the next topic. Vitamin K reduction is a crucial step in the metabolism of this vitamin. Reduction of vitamin K to its active hydroquinone form is facilitated by an enzyme called vitamin K epoxide reductase, VKOR. CORE acts in the ER and utilizes vitamin K quinone as a substrate, converting it to its hydroquinone form. This reduction reaction is essential for the regeneration of active vitamin K and ensures a continuous supply for the synthesis of vitamin K-dependent proteins. The vitamin K-dependent carboxylase is a vital enzyme involved in the gamma carboxylation of glutamate residues within GLA proteins. This enzyme requires the presence of vitamin K hydroquinone and acts in the lumen of the ER. It catalyzes the addition of a carboxyl group to specific glutamate residues, converting them into gamma carboxyglutamate GLA, residues. The carboxylation process is essential for the proper functioning of vitamin K-dependent proteins, as it enables their calcium binding ability, thereby facilitating their role in blood coagulation and calcium metabolism. Liver diseases, such as cirrhosis, can have a significant impact on vitamin K metabolism. The liver is responsible for the synthesis of clotting factors and the regulation of vitamin K stores. In liver diseases, the production of vitamin K-dependent clotting factors may be impaired, leading to a coagulopathy. Additionally, impaired liver function can affect the clearance and transport of vitamin K, further exacerbating vitamin K deficiency. Understanding the impact of liver disease on vitamin K metabolism is crucial for managing coagulation disorders in patients with liver dysfunction. The metabolism of vitamin K is tightly regulated to maintain optimal levels of active vitamin K for the synthesis of vitamin K-dependent proteins. Regulation occurs at various levels, including the synthesis, activation, and degradation of vitamin K. The synthesis of vitamin K is primarily regulated by dietary intake and intestinal bacterial synthesis. Activation of vitamin K involves the reduction reaction mediated by FCOR, while degradation occurs through enzyme-mediated processes. A comprehensive understanding of the regulatory mechanisms ensures the efficient utilization and maintenance of vitamin K in the body. While the liver is a major site of vitamin K metabolism, vitamin K also exerts actions outside the liver. In recent years, numerous extrahepatic functions of vitamin K have been discovered, including its role in bone health, vascular health, and neuroprotection. Vitamin K is involved in various enzymatic reactions that modulate calcium metabolism, prevent arterial calcification, regulate bone mineralization, and may even possess antioxidant properties. The exploration of these extrahepatic actions provides insights into the broader physiological importance of vitamin K beyond its role in blood coagulation. Vitamin K antagonists, such as warfarin, are widely used as oral anticoagulant medications. These drugs inhibit the vitamin K-dependent carboxylation of clotting factors, leading to the production of dysfunctional proteins with reduced coagulation activity. By interfering with the synthesis of active clotting factors, vitamin K antagonists effectively reduce the risk of thrombus formation. However, their clinical use requires careful monitoring and dose adjustment due to their narrow therapeutic index and potential for interactions with other drugs and dietary factors. Understanding the mechanisms of action and clinical implications of vitamin K antagonists is crucial for their safe and effective use in patients requiring anticoagulation therapy. 
vitamin K deficiency can lead to a range of clinical manifestations, including bleeding disorders and impaired bone health. Clinical features of vitamin K deficiency may include easy bruising, mucosal bleeding, and, in severe cases, spontaneous intracranial bleeding. Management of vitamin K deficiency involves identifying the underlying cause, correcting vitamin K levels through dietary supplementation or parenteral administration, and monitoring clotting parameters to ensure optimal hemostasis. Timely recognition and treatment of vitamin K deficiency are crucial to prevent complications and maintain overall health. Genetic disorders affecting vitamin K metabolism can lead to various pathologies related to coagulation and bone health. Examples include hereditary combined deficiency of vitamin K-dependent clotting factors and osteocalcin, warfarin resistance, and mutations in enzymes involved in vitamin K recycling and activation. Understanding the genetic basis of these disorders enables targeted diagnostic approaches and the development of personalized treatment strategies for affected individuals. The gamma carboxylation of glutamate residues with glyproteins is a precise and highly regulated process. This post-translational modification is facilitated by the vitamin K-dependent carboxylase enzyme and involves the enzymatic conversion of specific glutamate residues to gamma carboxyglutamate GLA, residues. The carboxylation reaction relies on vitamin K hydroquinone as a cofactor and is essential for the calcium binding capacity and functional activity of GLA proteins. Intricate molecular mechanisms regulate the selectivity, efficiency, and fidelity of gamma carboxylation, ensuring the proper functioning of vitamin K-dependent proteins. The uptake and distribution of vitamin K in the body involve various transporters and binding proteins. The intestinal absorption of dietary vitamin K relies on fatty acid transporters and cholesterol transporters present in the enterocytes. Once absorbed, vitamin K is transported in the circulation predominantly bound to lipoproteins, primarily low-density lipoproteins, LDL, and very low-density lipoproteins, VLDL. Hepatic uptake and distribution of vitamin K involve membrane transporters and binding proteins. A comprehensive understanding of these transport mechanisms is crucial to elucidate the factors influencing vitamin K status and to devise strategies to optimize its utilization. Direct oral anticoagulants DOACs, have emerged as an alternative to vitamin K antagonists for anticoagulant therapy. DOACs directly inhibit specific clotting factors involved in the coagulation cascade, thereby preventing thrombus formation. Unlike vitamin K antagonists, DOACs do not interfere with the vitamin K-dependent carboxylation process and have more predictable pharmacokinetics. Clinical advantages of DOACs include their rapid onset of action, shorter half-lives, fewer drug and dietary interactions, and more convenient dosing regimens. Understanding the biochemical basis and advantages of DOACs helps the medical community make informed decisions regarding anticoagulant therapy. In conclusion, Vitamin K is a crucial nutrient involved in the biosynthesis of vitamin K-dependent proteins, mechanisms of vitamin K reduction, and the vitamin K-dependent carboxylase enzyme. The impact of liver disease on vitamin K metabolism, regulation of vitamin K metabolism, and the extrahepatic actions of vitamin K further highlight its broad significance in various physiological processes. Understanding the mechanisms of action and clinical implications of vitamin K antagonists, clinical manifestations and management of vitamin K deficiency, and genetic disorders affecting vitamin K metabolism provide insights into the diagnosis and treatment of related diseases. The mechanisms involved in vitamin K-dependent gamma carboxylation, transporters involved in vitamin K uptake, and the biochemical basis and advantages of DOACs further shed light on the intricate biochemistry and clinical relevance of vitamin K.